I'm Richard Southern in the 680 newsroom. It was a great week for stocks. In fact, the best week for Bay Street in seven months. TSX up one and a quarter percent this past week. Mind you, still down three quarters of one percent for the year. The Dow and S&P closed at records on Friday. S&P 500 right at the 2500 point mark. Price of oil helping matters. Texas tea up just over five percent this week. Uh, by the way, price of gas here in Toronto could be going up two cents a liter coming up at midnight tonight. How much money are Canadians making? We got a good idea this past week. The 2015 census numbers regarding income came out. So let's take a look. The average individual income in Canada just over 34,000, up 12.7% from 10 years ago. The average household income just above 70,000 on a gross basis, up 9.2% year on year. Where are they making the most money? Hey, this might surprise you. The Northwest Territories. Average household income above 117,000 and none of it above 97,000 a year. That's really tied to the resource sectors. Companies send employees up there and they have to pay a top dollar for doing that. Lowest income provinces, New Brunswick and Quebec. 1.2 million Canadian children. 17% of all the kids in Canada live in low income households. Here's an interesting statistic. 96% of Canadian married or common law couples saw both spouses report at least some income. That's a number that's up dramatically. 32% of cases they were earning the same amount, but there is that gender pay divide still existing. Women earned a larger share in just over 17% of cases. And the number of people in Toronto making more than 100 G's a year, the most in Canada, 444,000 plus. Apple making big news this week. It unveiled its iPhone 8 line of phones and a special edition iPhone 10 to mark the 10th anniversary of the device. And they feature uh, wireless charging, fast charging. Uh, the iPhone 10 does away with the home button. To get back to the home screen, you just swipe up. The iPhone 10, not cheap. Could sell for upwards of 1600 here in Canada for the most uh, memory, the top model. And another feature that the iPhone 10 has is facial recognition. So to unlock the phone, you just look at it, recognizes your face. That has some people worried. And so a Chinese company is selling masks to protect your face from the iPhone 10. The worry is that someone might come into your room when you're sleeping, point your phone at your face, and then be able to get into the device. So they're selling these different types of face masks for the iPhone 10. They range in price from $3 to 160 bucks. By the way, Samsung said this past week that next year it's going to start selling a bendable smartphone. Samsung for some time has been working on bendable OLED technology. It would allow you to perhaps adjust the size of your device from a smartphone size to a tablet size wow. at will. We'll see if they make that happen. Days work for Samsung. Well, how would you like to go to Montreal or Ottawa for lunch and then be back in time for the afternoon shift to the office? It could happen. The Toronto-Montreal-Ottawa corridor has taken the prize as one of the strongest candidates in the world for a Hyperloop system. A Hyperloop is a passenger car inside a tube and most most of the air is removed from the tube, so it reduces the friction. The cars can get up to 1,000 kilometers per hour with not a lot of electricity needed. To travel from Toronto to Montreal, it would take just 39 minutes. From Toronto to Ottawa, just 27 minutes. Hyperloop One will work with the winning team to conduct a further analysis. See if we can actually make this happen. Finally, oops, she did it again. She's spending a lot of money. Documents out this week show Britney Spears is spending most of the money she has coming in. Uh, it showed that Britney Spears, the singer, made $16 million in 2016, but spent $10.9 million of that. As far as what she's spending it on, $122 grand on massages, grooming, and nails, $69 grand on wardrobe, $24,000 on hair and makeup, and those lucky pups, Britney spent $29,000-plus on her dogs. In the 680 Newsroom, Richard Southern, City News.